Okay, so I'm going to go over it real quick on, you know, this don't always work, but I'm going to tell you what it always worked best on for me is uh, rail vac batteries. <laughs> You're not supposed to do this, okay? This is kind of like what you call your last ditch survival method. Um, your batteries are crapped out. You need some batteries. You can't run to the store. Say, um, I don't know, say there's a hurricane out or an earthquake or something, and all the stores are closed. And you noticed uh, your batteries are crapped out, right? And you don't have rechargeable batteries. You got these kind. You say you got an inverter or something that you can run off a car battery to charge them up, you know? You can charge these if you're real careful. It's easier to charge the D cells and the C cells. Usually Ds are pretty damn common in flashlights. These little guys, these little freaking triple A's, not so much. You got you can fry these pretty easy. Now, actually, I'm running a little experiment here trying to charge up <laughs> freaking lithium. And I think I've been successful on this thing. Now, I know your resting voltage is not an indicator of really what the charge of the battery is because you can have, I know from cars, like, you know, a car, fully charged car battery is 12.6 to 12.7 volts. That doesn't mean when you hit the starter, it's going to crank over. It can go, you got to load test it, right? Um, but one of these seemed to be successful in charging up. And you're, boy, I, I never did that before. But, like, say, for instance, this is, uh, you got no choice. You got a bunch of these damn dead batteries. Now, the ones that have not been successful, the ones, I messed around with this for actually a couple years, messing around with this. And yes, I got rechargeable batteries, and I even got those Panasonic antelope batteries, which are like low self discharge and they're pretty expensive. And I got that Bedini charger, right? But I messed around with this anyway, just to, for a couple years now. And I found you can recharge. Even these Dora cells, you can recharge. Everettis. Of course, there's a helicopter coming overhead. <laughs> it's a Black Ops helicopter. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, but uh, <laughs> it's just a helicopter. Probably a sheriff looking for a jaywalker or something. You know, I'm here for the government. I'm here to help. You know how they are. That's what they should put on the police cars. But uh, I'm here from the government. I'm here to help instead of uh, to protect and serve. And then people get it better. But the Rayovacs have been more successful of <laughs> recharging than the Everettis and Duracells. I don't know why the hell that is. And like I said, you're not supposed to do this, but it's like an emergency thing. Now, what I do is I put them in these chargers. Like, I use the Energizer jobbers, which I don't think they're the best chargers in the world, but they're cheap. And this is the whole idea behind this. I'm not telling you to use a Bedini charger. I found the Bedini Renaissance charger, that battery charger that cost over 300 bucks. I found you can do these D-cell batteries pretty damn good on that thing. The triple A's, you'll fry them unless you put them on there for like five minutes at a time and five minutes and let them cool down for five minutes, you know. Actually, I think there's a way to make a battery charger that can recharge non-rechargeable batteries. They're not designed for that. That's the thing. But you notice this thing has been sitting on resting voltage now probably for 30 minutes. I had it on there like, and this has been like on this resting voltage for like a day. It's a fairly good indicator that it actually took a charge. That was one success out of four so far. And I never messed around with these. These things were like ancient, man. These were dead. They were zero. They're from like, I don't know, eight years ago? Energizer lithiums. Boy, I didn't think you could freaking even do that with those. I don't know, maybe you can, right? Now, of course, I think I got this on here backwards because it says negative. <laughs> but whatever, man. You know? So, I do have it on here backwards. Yeah. But anyway, you know, so it's but the same voltage. Um, these are little ne ne neodymium magnets to hold on those clips. That's a pretty handy thing when you're charging batteries up, too. Those little neodymium magnets. But, a lot of times what I do is like this, these here, if I feel them getting warm, starting to get warm, I'll pull them off the charger. And that's how I got that one up to this resting voltage. It probably works. Actually, I was mess I put this in with a flashlight with another battery that was good. It seemed like it was very bright. It's kind of hard. It's not a very good test. I don't, know, I don't have anything to load test these little jobbers like this. I got a things to load test car batteries. You know, but same type of principle. Um, 
But the Rayovax, I found, even though they're not designed for recharging, you know, I'm not talking about, you know, Rayovac makes rechargeable batteries, of course, but they're non-rechargeable batteries, I found I was able to recharge them better, more successfully than the Energizers or Duracells. And they're cheaper, too. <laughs> so I'm like, you know, whatever, man. And, you know, don't do this. This, this is only like, I'm talking, you know, this is called the American Russian Survival Channel. So this is not an everyday thing to save yourself a few pennies here and there. Although I've done that. Um, but it's, 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 what it's being told to you is for a last ditch maneuver, right? Um, so, you know, I always buy Ray of, for my regular batteries, I always buy Rayovax. I don't buy no, I usually I stop buying these bullshit things. These freaking energizers. But the energizer charger, I'll tell you something else. Even when you got rechargeable batteries, I don't want to say where I got this from, but I got it from an engineer, and it wasn't the battery people, okay? So if you guys are jumping on me for that, it was a different engineer from a couple years ago. This guy told me that um, these chargers they sell, which, which are rechargeable batteries, they're designed to work, but they're not designed to work optimally. So your rechargeable batteries, they'll tell you, oh, they can recharge them up to 500 times. That's under freaking ridiculously ideal situations. More than likely, it's going to be way less than that. So they're not so freaking good an option. And rechargeables, the vast only the only ones that are low self discharge that have a very high capacity are the Panasonic Antelope. But they're a lot more money. I mean, you can buy a bunch of freaking alkalines for one of those damn things. And they still self-discharge after a period of time. Now, these regular alkaline batteries, you can leave these around in a cool place for like 8, 10 years and they're still good. That's the advantage of them. And say that you, you do wear them out. I've been, I've been very successful in recharging D-sized batteries. Not only with this thing. This thing, I've noticed, doesn't, it takes a while to freaking charge these up with this. It might take freaking freaking six or eight hours or something and I've never had them like blow up in this thing after six or eight hours I guess if I left them in there two days they'd probably blow up but I've never had that problem personally my experience not advising it what to you but as far as triple A's don't leave them in there that long as far as these energizer lithiums is the first time I'm freaking trying to charge them on one of these damn things which is definitely not what you're supposed to do I've uh, looks like I successfully did this one I mean, I'm not 100% sure, but I think I did. I think I did one out of four. And you know what? If you need a damn batteries for something really bad and you just dunk, the stores are closed, uh, if you got one of them back. And let me tell you this, too. If you put these batteries like this, right? You got them like this. And say, this shit. <laughs> let me do this. This thing is, let me do it like that right there. Say you got them like this, right? Say you got them like that. Say that's say that's a brand new one, and that's a brand new one, and that's a used up one. The yellow one's a used up one in the middle. Well, if you throw that in a three battery flashlight, you know what happens? This one sucks some of the charge out of these two safely. It doesn't blow up. So, you know, even though they're not designed to take a charge, it the the. It's not a theory that they can retake a charge because anytime you put a weak battery in, which two brand new strong batteries, that weak battery sucks the charge out of the other two strong batteries till they all equalize. So actually they probably could make something with, I don't know how they would do it, pulsing, frequency, charge, I don't know. I know that Bedini charger has got some radical stuff in there that opens, you know, causes the chemicals in the batteries to just get back where they're supposed to be so you you have electrolyte you know the cathode and the anode whatever the hell is going on here with the electrolyte it's not it's not um it just conditions them again not supposed to be used for these types but i've actually the bedini charger but you know if you're you don't have a lot of money as a survivalist to buy a 300 hundred dollar charger or something actually that charger you need to use that off a of pure sine wave the bedini charger can't run it off your generator. This damn thing you can run off your generator. Or you can run it off a, a modified sine wave inverter. And uh, 
the ones like I said you got to watch for is these little guys these little the smaller the battery the easier it is to fry the big lantern batteries batteries like the 12 volt lantern batteries and a 6 volt pff, I had no problem recharging those several times I've had I've had very good luck recharging Rayovac D size You're not supposed to do that because they're non rechargeable and I've just used this stupid thing I left the monitor like six seven eight hours it didn't blow up or nothing if I did that with a triple A it'll be it'll be freaking toast but somehow it worked okay with the D. That's been my experience. But what you need to do as you're charging them is check your voltage. So charge them for so long, check your voltage like this, then let it sit, then let the voltage drop, let the thing cool down for say a half hour, and then go charge it again. More than likely, you're going to bring that battery back. You're not going to get it 100%, but you're going to get it back probably like 80 to 90 percent of what the freaking brand new one was and you know you, as long as you don't damage it uh, that's the key too much heat too fast of a charge like I said they're not designed to take it to be recharged but I've been very successful doing the Rayovacs with this just even with this stupid thing not the the door cells and the energizers and this is just my experience I'm telling you this for like last-ditch emergency maneuvers not for like saving a couple pennies that's what I'm telling you it for. And I'm, right now, I says I'm running an experiment with this. But this thing, this thing, I did this one. This is only one out of four that seemed to have hold the resting voltage really up there. That was from last week, I think, when I did that. And you can see that probably, that resting voltage, although that's not an indicator of really the strength of the battery, it probably, it probably, I probably reconditioned that somehow with some luck. Because just this thing, when you stick two batteries in it, you're not necessarily getting 100% equal charges going in there to charge rates. This thing is like real cheap. Actually, when I use the Bedini charger, I like charging one at a time. But charging one at a time, even on setting one for these triple A's, boy, you got to put them on there for like five minutes or something. But with the D's, you're okay, man. You can leave them on there for quite a while, and they're okay. The lantern battery is no problem with that Bedini charger. But you can do stuff even with this. And again, like I said, you can run this damn thing off your modified sine wave inverter, your generator that's putting out modified sine wave electricity. You can't run that. You can't run modified sine wave electricity. You've got to run full sine wave electricity like from the power company to run that Bedini charger. Now, i got a way of doing that because I could put it through... Um, you know in uninterrupted power supply that puts out pure sine wave so if I plug that power supply into um, the generator and whatever comes out of that power supply is going to be pure sine wave then I can run the Bedini charger off that you know but that's something else you know but you'll find battery problems are going to be a major headache if there's a situation where something temporarily goes out with the power grid or whatever you're definitely going to need batteries left and right and um, I'm going to be like I said I'm going to be I'm going to be freaking ordering some more to, I already ordered some more of those better battery sleeves because I'm already freaking sold on those damn things but beyond that like what I'm going to do is like these regular alkaline like I got rechargeable batteries too but not all my devices work so well on rechargeable batteries a lot of my simple shit doesn't like 1.2 volts. It likes the 1.5 volts. So that's why I have alkalines too. So, just a quick tip. This video probably won't be monetized. I don't think these guys in the uh, YouTube like my ch American <laughs> Russian survival channel. First thing I put out was uh, my introduction with the Confederate flag. You know, the, you know, corporations hate Confederate. You know why? Because that means rebelling against centralized control and tyranny, despite the way they freaking twist it around. <laughs> and you might see some more tips on from this guy right here. Uh, then I didn't really look at this guy's channel much. It's called Crazy Russian Hacker. I don't even think the guy's a Russian. I, I just looked at a couple of videos one time. I said, what the hell is this bullshit? He was opening up a can, scraping it across the concrete. I said, that is lame. Um... <laughs> You're probably going to see more shit from me than that guy. Because I know a lot of weird shit. I just, I got enough time to freaking put this crap out. It takes, 
you know, what I'm talking right now don't take too much time. It takes me more time to freaking convert, compress these videos, upload them, process them, and man, and I do them at 1080 because I got a way to compress them at 1080. And uh, I'm not, a, you know, just kind of like off the cuff shit, but what I'm telling you, I've done this for at least a few years, I think now, at least. More than that, way back when I was doing this shit. But, um, it works, man. But, like I said, it's last ditch emergency shit. I'm not telling you to do this regular. And watch the smaller the battery, <laughs> just watch the temperatures on them and shit like that. The smaller the battery, the easier it is to fry. But if you got nothing to lose, man, if you need a battery and there's no way to get batteries, do it. Try it. Just watch, the, you know, these bigger batteries are much more are much more successful. And again, this bad boy sitting up there, <laughs> you know, it's been like that for days. I mean, I think when I charged this was several days ago. I think that sucker is like practically new again. And that was zero. That was all four of these batteries like that, those Energizer. I don't even think, I never tried those before. They were zero. And I think they're from, I don't know, 10 years ago almost. So they've been around, they've been laying around a long ass time, man. <laughs> anyway, the corporations don't like that information. And like I said, the best ones I found, these are the cheaper ones still. Yeah, it lasts as long as Energizer. I think they do, to tell you the truth. And this is no ad. Yeah, 10 year, that's the other thing. That's why you want alkaline sometimes. You can, you can leave them around for freaking 10 years. You can't do that with rechargeables. Well, you want a few of these bubbies, puppies, man. And uh, we're going to be testing those. I'm going to be testing those D and C size sleeves later. I already know they're going to be good to go. So, um, anyway, over now.